All right. Now that we showed you uh, an algebraic kind of visual with variables, this one will be much more clear and concise. This is how to complete the square with numbers. So what we have here, let's just say x squared plus 6x plus, uh, we'll give it a random number, 10 equals 0. Okay. So x squared plus 6x plus 10, we want to complete the square. So the first step, we're going to move it over. So now we have x squared plus 6x is equal to negative 10. The reason why we got negative 10 is we subtracted it to the other side. Okay. The next part we're going to do is we're going to divide this by 2 and then square it to get our new c value. Okay. So what we have here is x squared plus 6x plus b over 2 squared is equal to negative 10 plus b over 2 squared. And if you can see right here, our b value, this is our b value. So we're going to substitute that in here. So now we have x squared plus 6x plus 6 over 2 squared is equal to negative 10 plus 6 over 2 squared. So from here, 6 divided by 2 gives you 3, which would give you 3 squared. So now we're at x squared plus 6x plus 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9 equals uh, minus 1. From here, we're going to do our perfect square, which would get us now. What we're going to do is we're going to make this into a square, which would look like this. x plus b over 2 squared. Remember, our b value kind of determines this value right here. So we're going to plug that in. You get x plus. The reason why it works is the magic number game, in, in essence. Well, what multiplies the 9 but adds the 6, which would be 3 and 3. So you get x plus 3 squared is equal to negative 1. So what we have here is x plus 3 squared equals negative 1, which would not give us a real solution, which we haven't even talked about. But if you wanted to find whatever values of x would be, you just square root it and subtract 3. And you got it from there. Okay. This part right here, this is what we want to know. This is what we want to know for our assignment. I'm not going to show you um, uh, imaginary numbers or anything like that, just so I don't want to confuse anyone, OK? All right, so how to complete the square with numbers. And let's do this with circles here in the next video.